Hi, I'm Craig Ramsey, celebrity trainer, fitness expert, Canadian reality star, and I'm not wearing any underwear. This is a show where I talk to super hot guys and find out why he's fit. He's fit. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. 69. Whew. Whew. Oh, that's a heavy load. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was just finishing up my workout, and that one got me really pumped. Welcome to He's Fit. Before we bring out our super sexy guest, let's talk about your fitness. Working out can be really tough and everyone plateaus. That's why I'm here to help you get on top of your workout when it gets really hard. You saw me performing jumping jack intervals. Most people when they're performing cardio concentrate on the acceleration and raising the heart rate up. However, you can lose a lot of weight by actually concentrating on recovery, slowing down the heart rate in a very effective and efficient way. I like to have breathing techniques of relaxing the jaw and concentrating on lowering my heart rate, relaxing my shoulders, catching my breath, and then I jump back into it. That helps me go longer and harder, and it will for you too. And that's what we do when it gets really hard. Today's guest not only has a snatched body, he's also snatched wrestling titles. He not only fights in the ring, he also fights for equality. Athletic, powerful, and with a body that makes our temperature rise, Freddy is a champion. He's won the WWE Tag Team Championship, and he is the first major professional wrestler to come out, and we find that positively provocative. His Block the Hate movement has a goal of reaching 10 million people to open the love, and with Freddie's smile, we are open for it. Freddie Rosser, thank you for being here and a guest on He's Fit. Mr. No Days Off is in the house. I always say don't die with a story and you tell it, baby. Here he is. So much to talk about. Not only your career, but your physique and your workouts. I mean, you're six foot one, 239 pounds of pure man meat. Oh. But before we hear more about you, it's time to see more of you. It's time for... This is the part of the show where everyone at home is going to press mute <laughs> and they're going to hope I take a l long time analyzing Baby, your body. Baby, I didn't body. get this body overnight. A lot of functional movements, a lot of uh, training. I've had a lot of injuries in the past, yeah. so uh, I had to change up the way I work out. So the bodybuilding mentality is out the window. I that like makes to, sense. I like to do full body workouts. The legs are my favorite to do. Uh, a lot of guys don't do legs. They're all upper body. Yep. So I try to give advice and tips as to um, building a better body. You, we want that hourglass body. That's what it's all about. We want this body and we're gonna listen to you. But I was a fat kid growing up though, Craig. Oh, what? I was a fat kid. Let's look at this really closely here. 
Do you see how the chest is not only full, but there's also all of this vascularity in you. For your size, that, that does make sense that you do functional training, not only for the physique that you have now, but coming from a bodybuilder background with going into wrestling, I would assume that it's similar to my dance career where you have to do functional training. You have to be able to move your bodies, not just for looks. This guy is strong, correct? Yeah, I'm strong. I don't load my spine anymore. I don't do heavy squats. I like to do landmines. I like to do uh, goblet squats because all the injuries I've had in wrestling, my body just can't take all the loading of the spine. So gobble, people gobble. Ask, <laughs> so people ask me how I how I get big legs. Well, butt lifts, butt lifts, baby. Oh, we're gonna That's get there. That. Why don't you show us? Turn around nice and slow. Oh, see, you know I can't. I can't show off the money maker. Imagine getting hit in the head with this. Wham! Just like I that. I actually can imagine it, and it might happen later in the show. It's vicious, though. It might rock it. Did you sign the waiver? Oh, I did. I generously I hope signed so, that. Because Eagerly. These hips, the hip attack don't miss, baby. And they don't lie. Turn around they don't and let's lie. look at them. They don't lie. Look at that. Great physique here. Look at the glutes. Look at the back. Look at all of this. This could this is an anatomy class, people. I uh, love the the rear delts you got the lats. Well, dude, want. this is jacked. Why this is hide incredible. hard work? I always say it on my social media. Why hide hard work? Show it off. Yeah, show, well, it, show off. it off for us. I, what I want you to try and do here and, and show everyone is the difference between just a regular bicep uh, when you when you flex it, but also squeezing the pinky, how it tightens up everything. The pinky? Yeah. Squeeze that pinky and see how it, it tightens it up. Good tip. Oh, good, Craig Ramsey. Wow. Tip. Right off the start of the show. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, like, you know, everyone you meet has something valuable to teach you, and damn it. Well, let's look at some before and after photos to see this amazing transformation. What's so funny? Nothing's funny. What the hell's so funny? You're giggling over here. What the hell's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it's time for. Let's look at some before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fashion. Now, if you couldn't tell, I had a little sassiness in me. Come on. What do you mean, that shoulder forward? Honey, like I said, like, before I came out, I was very, if I was doing this five, six years ago, I'd be like, hey, how you doing, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> well, give me that wrestler voice that you did. Let me tell you something, That's Greg. It. This is my house, and I would always cut wrestling promos like this because I was hidden on the inside. I wanted to sound more masculine. Now I don't have to do that shit anymore, honey. That's I good. can just be myself. Boop. Well, you were yourself back then Boop. with that shoulder forward. I, you're uh, adorable. I don't kid. give a damn now. I don't give a damn. I can be good. myself and just. I could be masculine. The reason why I do what I do is that I speak to the kids and I can show them that being gay comes in all sizes and shapes. That was a... Uh, That's an after. I, I How was old work, are you? I was working my way up. I was probably in my late 20s when I had some, some flabbiness going on in my chest. I suffer from gynecomastia from all of uh, the abuse as a young teenager. Uh, I dabbled, unfortunately, in steroids because my roommates were um, baseball players. And I just, I share it on my social media. I share it on my Pro Girl Wrestling podcast to tell people that, you know, doing that kind of stuff isn't the way to go. Functional training is better. And that I needed to have gynecomastia surgery to get rid of all that. So it was cosmetic surgery. I overdosed on Tribulus for a couple of years when I was uh, in, in, a, in a relationship uh, that I felt like I needed to, to build up a little mm -hmm. bit more. So I, in fact, as well, had had gynecomastia in one of my um, one of my breasts. Uh, Dr. Cruz in Newport Beach really took care of me well. Mm. So it is an issue that's out there and it's really important to address it and talk about it because the stigma attached to it, we gotta get rid of it. Sure. You know, even from food Foods from um, high hormoned uh, foods and processed foods, uh, it, it is something that us men have to talk about because more times than not, people in the gym are suffering from that for no reason. Get it done. Absolutely. And I always say all the time, you'll hear it a lot, don't die with the story and you tell it. Let's look at another after photo. Ooh. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Looking good, feeling good. Uh, I'm in Tampa, Florida, making moves down there. I was back and forth from Tampa and LA. I'm here in LA full time the last two years. Yeah. Uh, Tampa is when I was just 
grinding away, uh, traveling a lot with WWE, and then just getting that body right. Freddie, you are the very first professional wrestler to come out as openly gay. Thank you for that. I would love to know what your motivation was to do that at the time. You know, there are many reasons why I wanted to come out. Um, but one of the main reasons I came out was because I found love in Miami. I was with my partner. I hate using the word partner. I was with my boyfriend. Boyfriend. And uh, I had reached my career with WWE. I was at the top of the mountain, but I wasn't living my life truthfully. I wanted to be able to ultimately bring him to red carpets. I wanted to be able to bring him backstage in the masculine world of professional wrestling. And I wanted to fucking hold his hand mm -hmm. and be proud. So that was one of the reasons why I came out. I came out to my family when I was 28. I came out to the world at 30 years old. At 28 years old, I had that shield. I told my I told my 94-year-old grandfather, mm -hmm. and I still get choked up every time I tell this story. When I came out publicly to the world, uh, he seen it on the news, and my mom said, uh, you know, your grandfather at 94 years old, he said, I don't give a damn if my grandson's green, blue, yellow, red. That's my grandson, mm -hmm. and I still love him. Wow. So I came out to my inner circle, and I knew I had that, that shield. I knew the sky was the limit for me. And um, like I said, I didn't think my story was a big deal until of all people share contacted me on social media yeah. and said, because of her hearing my story, one of her friends who's a big wrestling fan came out to his family. So I minute, the minute that I read that from her, I said, man, my story's a big fucking deal. But like I said, the support of those people in WWE, the support of Cher, um, meant the world to me. And there's no hiding that you have a great physique and you know how to take a really great, super sexy photo on Instagram. And that's why we need your help to get the perfect What's up, world? You know what time it is. Mr. No Days Off, WWE veteran Fred Rosser is in the house. And I always say I use my social media to inspire, motivate, and educate our youth. Taking the perfect photo. Very important. I've got three tips for you, so you know what time it is, baby. Tip number one, show a little skin. Show skin in a classy way. No bulges in the front with, you know, if you're gonna wear tights or anything. Let's keep it classy, baby. So show skin. Tip number two, flex a little bit. Don't be afraid to flex. My favorite flex is the block the hate pose that's running wild in a city near you. So flex. Tip number three. Hmm. I wonder if I should give this away. Freaking smile. Who wants to look at a thirst trap picture where you're just <laughs> Vince McMahon, the owner of WWE, would always say, even as a good guy, smile more. Let the people in. So when in doubt, smile. So smile, flex, show some skin. You know what time it is, baby. It's time for me to show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ooh, that really quenched my thirst. That's so dramatic. Always. Mm, now that we're hydrated, do you want to go for a spin, Freddy? Let's do it, baby. All right. It's time for the Wheel of Fitness. You're gonna spin the wheel, and whatever body part it lands on, you're gonna show us an exercise for it. You never know where it's gonna land on. The possibilities are endless. Freddie, it's totally up to chance. I mean, it could fall absolutely anywhere. Okay, Freddie, how about you touch my peg and give it a good, hard tug? 
You are so damn naughty. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go, baby. Feels good. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now we're rolling. <laughs> Oh yes, yummy peach. Yummy peach, because you got a yummy peach, so I'm excited for this workout. Yummy peach. <laughs> Show us that yummy peach exercise. Okay, so I explained earlier, I don't like loading my spine anymore, personally, so if I'm gonna... Means over the head, like right here, yes. heavy lifting, yeah. So if I'm gonna suggest any exercise for anyone, I prefer doing uh, kettlebell squats. This helps force me Do to Do it one more time. <laughs> this helps force me keep my spine straight yeah. when I come down all, all the way. And for me, it's a full body. Yeah. It's a full body workout. Mm -hmm. So it's full body, baby. So maybe we can start here and then down. Wow. That's full low. Full body. That full range of movement, again, proper stretch and a contraction. Again, you're a professional. We, we don't want to come out. We don't want the knee to pass mm -hmm. the toe. We want to come. We don't want our knees to come out like this. We no. want to just come out. No, don't pull it out. You want to keep it in. Come inside Damn here. You, come on, let's. Come inside of the box. Let's like show that. these people. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Boom. Full how's, body. How's my form? Are you watching me? You're not even doing it. Look, let's start down here. OK. And let's boom. Ooh, that's great for the uh, shoulders yes. as well and the arms. That's why I said full body, baby. Full body. Boom, work baby. with me. I like that chest hair. The chest hair looks good. Thank you. Um, I shave everything. I keep the chest hair to scare my opponents. Oh! Let's give them the other view. Let's see. They want to see the form. Of course. With the booty. And ready? Why hide hard work? Here we go. Snatch. Boom. Tell it like it is. One more. Oh, Again, good. it I love forces it. us to keep our spine straight. We're not doing this. We're not hunched over. I don't know how straight I was doing that exercise, um, but my spine was definitely in you alignment. You were straighter than six o'clock, baby. <laughs> straighter than six o'clock. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Freddie, I think now is the appropriate time for me to show you and the viewer my tip. What? This is not any ordinary tip. This is a sexercise tip. This is gonna help build your strength and stamina in the bedroom. But I'm a happily married man and I wanna stay married. So per my marriage contract, my husband Brandon has to be in the room. Brandon, hello. Freddie, this exercise is called flip flop hip thrusts. Can you help me out with this one? Sure, if I can. Okay, let's uh, get very intimate here. If you don't mind, can you lay down on the floor? The hips can come up off the floor, mm -hmm. push into your heels, and that really squeezes and activates the glutes, right? Yes, and again, we, uh, something like this, we, we, we don't want this. We don't want our knees caving in. No. No. No, I, I think it's impossible for what you got down there, too, to bring those knees in. I think you need a little breathing space. What do you mean, space. what I got down there? What? Just relax, Freddie, just relax. Um, let air and space in between your legs. It's almost like a grapefruit. And when I say almost, I mean it is like a grapefruit in between your legs, okay? And then you keep that in mind and you raise up those hips, raise them up. Yeah. That's right. But this is so easy for Freddie and for me because we're such big guys and w in our careers. Wait, wait, you think you're a big guy? I'm a big guy. Compared to me? Well, we'll see. Maybe maybe I can restrict some of my weight and control it by going into a squat. So I want to add in a little bit of resistance here. Okay, Freddie? I Friday? love resistance. All right, well, hopefully you won't give me too much resistance here. I'm going to slide down his thighs. I'm going to come into a deep squat. And then from this position, I'm adding a little bit of my body weight, but I'm controlling it. And he's going to hip thrust up from this position. Uh, okay. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Go down. That's right. And I'm going to add a little more pressure. There you go. Raise up. That's it. And hold it there. Hold it there. Do you feel that added pressure? A lot of resistance. A lot of resistance. And down. A lot. Go ahead, one more. Up. Perfect. You felt that? Oh, lots of resistance. Yeah. Craig. I felt that too. Well, Freddie, you helped me up, so let me help you up. Hold on a second. I'm not handicapped. Damn it. I can get myself up. Fair enough. I I hope our audience got something very educational out of this. I know I did. Oh, they certainly Resistance did. Resistance is the key. Oh, oh. 
Oh, you got me again. Oh, you toughened up, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I, Don't be scared I of me. I gotta learn that. Don't be scared. Can you teach me that move? Oh, yeah. We, we call that a chop. Boom. Is that it? What are you stomping for? I was making the sound. No, no, I like to. Oh, speaking of sounds. Freddy, what? do you hear that? Do you know what that sound means? Oh, when the drums are pounding, it's time for the flex battle. Flex battle. Battle is a moment of legendary proportion. Flex battle. Who will prevail in the flex dome? I challenge you to a flex battle. It's time to battle. It's time to put your fitness to the test and challenge our He's Fit Flexiator. Freddy, do you accept this challenge? I accept this challenge. <laughs> Let the flex battle begin. the best for last. Throw it up. Block the hate. Equality for all. Throw it up! <laughs> Strength in numbers, baby. Strength in numbers. Flex battle. Oh, make sure you tell us who you think won the flex battle. Freddie, thank you so much for being on He's Fit. I don't do handshakes. Ooh, give me a hug. Get the hell yeah, out of here, damn it. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the love. Of course. Freddie, please tell everyone where they can find you. My social media, real simple Twitter, Instagram, at Real Fred Rosser. Follow, go to blockthate.com. Help me spread the word. It's, the, it's a movement I truly believe in, and, and it's a movement that I wish everyone would get behind. So please, please, please follow me. Twitter, Instagram, at Real Fred Rosser, my government name. That's my government name. It's not Darren Young. I was called Darren Young in WWE. My government name, at Real Fred Rosser, baby. Keeping it legal. Block the hate, salute the great. We, keeping it legal, damn it. Exactly. Thank you for watching. Make sure you tune in next week to another informative and super sexy episode of He's Fit. Thanks for having me. But what I like to do is I like to share my title with everyone. You know, I yeah. speak all over the world. So anyone that holds this bell, anyone that takes a picture with this bell, they sign their soul to the Block Eight movement. So can Craig, I sign up? I can sign up. Damn it! Don't jump the gun. Of course. Craig, get the hell over here. Coming. Boom. Yep. Boom. Quit showing off. Yeah. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ I'm, is here! Block the hate, spread the word, strength in numbers, baby. You have signed your soul yes. to the Block the Hate movement. Are you ready, Craig? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to dance it out, dance it off. Let's, let's dance do it, it baby. Let's do it! Oh, yeah, let's 
start small. And then big. He's fit. Oh, oh, I got it. Don't take, don't take my spotlight, baby. <laughs> <laughs>